Lord, I know I need to repent. I've been asking you for the longest time to heal my marriage, to give me a heart for my marriage, but lately, I'm thinking about Sean more than Vince. Telling myself it's no big deal to talk to him, ignoring how much I want to talk to him. I should have just let him leave yesterday. Just let him go, get something to eat. I could have ordered room service, looked over my message for this morning. But I wanted to spend more time with him. And it's stupid. What am I doing? Reliving the past? Reviving my teen years? I woke up this morning fantasizing about him. Lord, forgive me. Help me to get my heart and mind right. I can't even focus on your word this morning. I'm supposed to minister this morning. I need you, Lord. Help me to cling to you. Hey, babe, the conference went really well. Is Sean there with you? I see you spending the weekend with him. What? No, I haven't even seen Sean today. You gave me such a hard time about not coming there, but really you had this all planned out just so you could spend the weekend with Sean. Sean wasn't even supposed to be in town. His artist had an emergency. I can't even believe you're saying this. You know what? I didn't call you last night because I figured you were busy with conference stuff, but nah. You was up there having dinner with him. You know what? I'll own that. I was convicted, prayed about it this morning. And that's supposed to make everything cool? Because you prayed about it? I remember what this dude meant to you, Ricky. A long time ago. Unlike you and Carla, which was less than a year ago. I see why you think I would plan a weekend with Sean since that's exactly what you did with her. Of course you'll try to turn this around and make it about me. I'm the one who told you I had dinner with Sean. Wasn't trying to hide it. How did I find out about you and Carla? Listen, we're not going back over that, Ricky. We know we're going to stay right here and talk about you and Sean. Sean and I saw each other for the first time since we were teens. We had dinner. That was it. What else would you say? So I'm lying? That's great. I remember you going on and on about how you could never do what I did. But guess what, Ricky? It started with dinner. And here you are. I just want you to admit that you could go there too. Go where? That you could have an affair just like I did. <laughs> so you'll feel better about what you did if I say I can see myself spending a romantic weekend with another man complete with, what was it, Vince? Bottle of wine, hot tub, strawberries. Listen, I just want you to acknowledge that you're human. Never said I wasn't, but I love how you slipped in that little detail. It all started with dinner. Obviously, it had to start somewhere. As far as I knew, it started in the office. Okay, that, that's true. But all I'm trying to say is the next level is where you and Sean are. Dinner. 
How many dinners, Vince? Listen, it won't do us any good to go back. I never asked you for the play-by-play -play because you kept saying you were sorry and wanted our marriage, and I knew if I had all the details, I was not going to forgive you. But enough time has passed. I can take it. How many dinners? I don't know, Ricky. Uh, several. And you planned your little weekend over one of these dinners? Not really. I mean, Carla planned most of it. <clears throat> Who paid for the trip? I did. Well, that's funny. Wasn't on our American Express statement or PayPal. How did you pay for it? My visa. Wow. Whole nother credit card I don't even know about. What's the login information for the account, Vince? What do you need that for? Oh, it's a problem? I thought I had access to all of our accounts. You're afraid I might see another Airbnb reservation? Maybe a hotel? You said that that weekend was the only time that the two of you spent together. Is that true? This is pretty, the way that you can deflect the whole conversation, that's really about you reconnecting with your old boyfriend. It's a simple question, Vince. Did you have sex with Carla at any time other than that weekend? Listen, I'm done talking about that. You're the one who said that we can't heal if we keep going back. Cool. Text me the login information. Listen, I don't, I don't even know it offhand. I haven't used that card in months. But is this your idea of forgiveness, Ricky? Where you can keep going back over the whole thing whenever you feel like it? I'll call you when I get to California tomorrow. Hey, listen. I love you. I hope you know that. Why didn't you just say no? If I did Sometimes I feel like I'm going out of my mind Troubles they've got me They won't give me one good night Faithful, forever mine. 
Savior Because you love, you remind me That you, you, you are My refuge, fortress, comforter, deliverer You come unexpectedly You never fail to come rescue me If I didn't have you If I didn't have you Life is just hard. You don't know how you'll make it dealing with thing after thing. Tempted to give up hope until you remember. The Lord is my help. His very presence is help. You can run to him and know grace is mine. Strength is mine. Victory is mine. If I didn't have you. If I didn't have If I 